Hi guys, this is uh, Danny for the Rackphone Company. So today I receive uh, this tablet, it's called the P200. I don't have the brand yet, so just uh, for now we'll call it uh, P200. And it's a rack tablet, so it's uh, waterproof, it's shockproof, and it has a large 8 inch screen. So it's a Gorilla Glass screen, but uh, it also has a uh, GSM and 3G uh, function, so it's basically like a very large uh, mobile phone, smartphone, and uh, we'll see right now how it performs. So it comes uh, with this kind of box. It's just say P200, and it's a yellow model that we test. You can see that the, there is at least a red model also. So inside the box we have a EU adapter but I guess you can have the English or the US adapter, it depends. So this is a charger and it's a 2 amps charge. We got also here earphone and the USB micro V2 cable. Okay, so it looks well built and strong. So it's combination of hard yellow plastic here and softened black plastic to absorb shocks. Same at each angle, we can see that it's uh, reinforced here at the four coins. So we have the main camera with a flash and we have a, a webcam what did I do? yeah okay we have a webcam here and I don't see sensors but we'll look if there are some sensors here so we have the search we have the menu and the home and the return soft key button you can hear they vibrate and basically what you have is a mobile phone interface, it's ex exactly the same. So if you are familiar with Android phones, it's basically a very large Android phone that we have here. Okay, on the side here, so we have the volume button minus and plus and the power button, well, the, yeah, power on off and you really have to press hard okay to have something if you don't press hard it will not move but it's fully waterproof as you can see here you have the sim so it's there is a sim inside and it's a full size sim and it looks also pretty waterproof to me here there is a memory card space so drive you can put uh, a 32 gig here so this is a sticker here it seems that you can uh, put a brand here so I don't know let's see what there is behind this if I can get it no I, I cannot get it okay but it seems that you can put a brand here uh, here we have the microphone, down here you see it's pretty tight so we have the audio jack port and the USB port and on this side yeah that's all okay Um, so let's review the app. So first I put the advanced task killer to check memory. So we have 227 megabytes, 
So it's either a 512 or a 1024. We'll check with Antutu benchmark the size of the memory. So let's go directly to the Antutu to check performance of, uh, I don't know how we're gonna call it, is it a tablet? Is it a phablet? Okay, so the brand is Qcom and it's a P200. Let's see, I already run a test. Okay, it has been erased, so let's run one more time the performance test. Okay, so it scored 14,000, which by today's standard is not very high, but uh, I think this is not a, a tablet uh, for game, it's more uh, a tool and actually for professional use uh, 14,000 is, uh, is enough. Uh, we can see that the uh, GPU score uh, 2700 and it's uh, 1280 by 800 screen. So again, uh, Qcom is a brand, model is P200 and it's a 4.4 Android, so it's a KitKat. The CPU is a... Where is the CPU? This is a GPU. CPU is a Qualcomm, we'll see later on. GPU, so is a Adreno 305. So the rear camera is almost 8 uh, megapixels. It has a email code, so you might check if it's compatible uh, with your country. And the memory is 648. So it's between 512 and 1 gig of RAM. And internal storage is 8 uh, gigabytes. So it's a Qualcomm and it's a 4-core CPU, it's 1.2 GHz. So you can see also the speed of the GPU, 400 MHz. So the screen resolution, it's uh, 280 dpi. And let's see multi-touch. So it's a 5 point. Front webcam is 1.9 megapixel. It doesn't have NFC. It has Wi-Fi and for sensor, so you get acceleration, light. You don't get the e-compass. You get proximity and that's all. So it's not a lot of uh, sensors. Okay, there is a battery tool here. Let's look at the bruising. So this is a, a flash video. So this works. Okay, let's now go to the shop that uh, sent us This tablet. So the hotspot 
is quite far from here, it's on the other floor of the house. So for browsing, the good thing is that uh, you have a big screen. So it's really convenient to uh, surf on the web. Okay, so browsing is working well, flash videos also. So you have a, a calculator. Calendar, so camera. So let's uh, look at some photos that I just took outside the blog. So we have the clock also. Alarms, clock, word, clock, countdown, and chronometer. Downloads, email, Facebook is print style. So I have put uh, a save SD card. You see internal memory. So you have a uh, a tuner, FM tuner, but you need to put your earplug for it to work. But it's a, it's a real tuner, you don't need the internet uh, to work. Gallery. Gmail, Google, Google settings, GPS data. So let's look now of uh, some photos of uh, the GPS performance. Google map with uh, geolocalization, the small dot here, blue dot is where we stand. Messaging, music, so sound is good and it's very loud, so it's a very good point for the P two hundred on this. MX player, so you can uh, see movies. Let's try first to see uh, high definition movies. So it's uh, 1080p. Lag. So the music is uh, is play well, but the, the video doesn't follow here. So uh, the CPU has trouble to play full HD uh, AVI file. Um, let's maybe clear a little bit the memory. Okay, and let's go back to the video player. Okay, let's try now FLV in Full HD. FLV looks okay, MKV. No. 
MKV we don't have the video, just the sound. Let's look at a, a move. Okay, so move looks okay. Let's look at the MP4. Okay, so MP4 very difficult. RMVB. RMVB looks better and uh, WV, W, sorry, MPA, Microsoft Standard. And this one looks okay. So as you can see, MP4 is not working well and uh, AVI. So let's look if I have just AD HD AVI. So this is same standard in HD. Same, the, the voice and the picture doesn't match. Let's look at, so AVI, it has some problems. And uh, let's look at MP4. So here now we don't have sound. Okay, so as you can see, some standards are well played and some not very well. We'll play the game later on in the review. So uh, people phone because it's a phone also. Play Store. So it has the uh, original Play Store where you can download apps, game, movies, music, books. Real Racing will play later on. Search. Settings. So it has Wi-Fi, mobile data, Bluetooth, VPN, airplane mode, cell broadcast. Sound. Okay, display. So we are maximum now. Apps. So I have installed a few apps. And uh, so we use 3.2 and we still got 2 gig free. So there is still plenty of uh, space uh, here, except if you download very big games like this one. Nova 3 is 1.62, so it's a huge game for a mobile device. So it has GPS, security, you can Encrypt the tablet. Language. So it doesn't have a lot of languages, but it has the main one. So you have uh, at least uh, English, French, 
Spanish, Dutch, Portuguese, You can print wireless Okay, so it's a KitKat So sound recorder It comes with Temple Run 2 but it's in Chinese so you just erase it and put the English version instead it comes with Twitter, you have a full um, user manual in color. Video, let's try something. Yeah, video is not working. Video. Yeah, um, I wanted to check. So this standard was not working with the other software okay now it's working so with video uh, AVI is working and what was not working it was uh, mp4 MP4 here we don't have sound, but maybe the video doesn't have sound. I'm not sure now. Okay, voice dialer, video search. I don't know if it works well, let's try. Restaurant. Okay, so the search works. It comes with a WeChat Wi-Fi analyzer. So let's see what the strengths of the signal. So it says uh, 65, 65 is good. Average at this location is uh, 74. So it, it means that the Wi-Fi is good, it's strong here. Uh, Okay, so I have installed this software. So it's a uh, Office uh, Suite. The goal is to check some uh, uh, Office documents. So, for example, this is a TXT. So you can read the txt, this is a mag in, uh, so this is actually a pdf file and as you can see uh, it's quite convenient to read a, a pdf magazine on this kind of, uh, of device. So here I have an excel file. So you can purchase any office uh, tool or office suite and you can work on Excel, you can uh, work on uh, presentation or you can show some presentation. So this is a PowerPoint presentation. And the last one, so it's a, a doc document, so you can view and you can, uh, you can edit. So this is just a tool, but if you buy the uh, Microsoft Office for Android, we'll be able to uh, really work on this, uh, on this tablet. And the last one is YouTube. So 
so YouTube is working also. I'm not sure if YouTube maybe I download it for, for the purpose of the test. Okay, so I think now we have reviewed most of the app. It's time to play. Let's uh, play to Nova 3, which as you can see it's a huge game. It's 1.6 gigabyte. I can see some lag here. So it's really laggy. It's not that we can not play to the game, but uh, there is a lot of flags. It's quite difficult to play because there is a lot of lag. Okay. So Let's stop this. So, uh, I think this tablet is not made to play this kind of games. It uh, requires uh, too much uh, CPU use, so as you can see it's too much lag. So, I think Nova 3 is uh, not made for this kind of tablet. Uh, let's kill apps that are in memory and now let's try Real Racing 3, which is another uh, intensive uh, CPU uh, game, but uh, let's see if uh, it ran better on this uh, P200 than uh, Nova 3. So let's make this race on uh, Bronze Hatch circuit in the UK. So the intro seems uh, pretty fluid. For now there is no lag, but let's drive and see how it goes. So the dashboard is in uh, low definition. But there is no lag, it's, uh, it's quite good, I, I would say, better than uh, what I was uh, expecting, expected for the P200. Let's try to pass this car.
Okay, so uh, well done for uh, Real Racing 3. So my conclusion on the P200, it's uh, it's it's a pretty tablet. I like it. I like the the yellow. It's uh, well built. Um, I think it's uh, quite shock resistant due to the the soft plastic that we have all around, and uh, the glass is actually inside the the frame. So I think if it if you drop it like that, it will not touch. The, the glass, but the frame here. Same also for the camera. It's uh, it's protected by uh, this uh, yellow frame all around. So it's uh, it seems uh, pretty uh, solid. So according to the manufacturer, it's also waterproof. I don't doubt about it. And uh, the CPU, the Qualcomm CPU, is not a very strong CPU. Sometimes you can see a little lag when you go from one app to the other one, when you open an app. It's not uh, uh, straightforward, you have to wait a few milliseconds. But, uh, okay, uh, it's still a 4-core CPU, it's still able to uh, run, not Nova 3 very well, but a uh, strong game like uh, Real Racing 3. It also play most of the full HD video, if not in full HD, in HD. So uh, even though the score is not very high, you can basically um, do what you want to do uh, with the tab. Uh, you can use also uh, Office software, so you can write, you can do Excel, you can uh, do PowerPoint presentation, you can read PDF uh, magazine. So it's quite complete and uh, it's basically half price, even not more, of uh, industrial tabs that you see on the market. So I think uh, overall it's a good deal. So you can buy this uh, tablet on uh, www.ruckphoneco.com so you can see the URL just here and uh, thanks for Rockphone Company to send me this uh, tablet to test and I see you soon for uh, other video for Rug uh, Phone or Rug Tablet product.